Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, March 5th, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar, Japanese yen. And as you can see, we have rallied basically outside of this channel at this current stage. And this is a very, very bullish candlestick. Um, so what basically happened today is that the US dollar started um, appreciating significantly. It's up 0.77%, give or take. And it's a basically a big jump from yesterday. So that caused most of these um, major moves in these current these of um, uh, currency pairs that we were going to look at, and also especially the US dollar, Japanese yen. As you can see, we are significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. We are overbought at this current stage. However, other technical indicators are very bullish. So at this point, I think that we're going to see a pullback. It is uh, moves like this are not sustainable. So we are going to see something that is going to pull back in towards uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band yet again. So we are trading roughly give or take give or take nearly two percent away from the middle of the bullinger band so we will eventually probably tomorrow or on monday or the beginning of the um, uh, next week see this market roll over and head back to the middle of the of the bullish band i if we manage to break for example another candlestick outside of the of this channel then we could go significantly higher but i do anticipate a pullback from here so US dollar, Canadian dollar, the same goes right here. We did eventually broke down in the, in the early of the session and then rallied significantly and found resistance at the 40 and the 50 moving average. If you look at the Bollinger Band, we are trading just above the middle of the Bollinger Band. We are, well, technically they are turning around to the upside, but that is also because we had this major pullback. But we are not trading above the 50 moving average and as long as that is the case this is still going to head down so every single move that we have seen up towards the 50 or just above it has basically broken down so we are still in a downtrend and this basically is just a minor pullback towards the 50 moving average it will most likely be sold into and the target will be the downside here at 1247 so great british pound us dollar so this looked really good in the early of the session and then it fell apart it did pretty much better than the euro us dollar which we'll look after and uh, look at afterwards uh, but at this point we're still trading above the 40 exponential we're right underneath the 20 technically indicators they are for example the macd is bearish the rsi is flat the cci is flat and the stochastic here is still trading above the red line here and still turning around so we could see this turn around here and rally to the upside. So this is far more bullish than, for example, the euro US dollar, which we'll see in the moment. So as long as this 40 and the 50 is holding, then still my, the target here is still 1423.74. So euro US dollar, as you can see, we have broken the 150 moving average. We need to get rid of this. We have broken the 150 moving average and now are trending towards the 200 moving average. We are, it is basically looking like we are going to continue trending downwards. If the 200 breaks, that opens the door to the 300 at 1162. So a massive drop to the downside. We're still at uh, 39 here, so it's a lot of room to the downside. We are significantly outside of the Bollinger Band, so expect a pullback at least to the half of this um candlestick at 1202 or just at 1200 uh, before uh, continuing downwards and that would kind of depend on whether or not the us dollars uh, continues to appreciate uh, which it probably will do for the foreseeable future we'll have to see uh, see about that in another video but otherwise technical indicators they are looking dreadful still macd is bearish the rsi is bearish the cci is bearish and so is the stochastic but we are significantly overstretched. And we can see what basically happened last time we got this far outside of the bullish band. We rallied all the way up towards this level here. So rally roughly 2.4%. So yes, that is that did happen over here. And it, whether or not it does happen now, 
because we have broken the 150 that is to be seen so the aussie dollar us dollar this also felt like a rock today we can get rid of these lines here so we're trading underneath the 50 minute average still this previous lows here seem to be uh, offering quite a lot of support if we break below this then we open the door to the 100 moving average at 0.76 uh, if you look at technical indicators they are all turning around so they are very bearish there's a lot of room to the downside so we can drop to the 100 and to the 100 moving average also to the 150 and the 200 moving average all the way down here if this continues there's also a lot of room to the downside here in the bullish band we're not even close to being overstretched so when we get to roughly 0 0.76, 0.61, that is where we'll find some kind of uh, support if we don't break below the bullish band. But at this point, this looks very, very bearish indeed. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.